the Ridge Report, live from Pacific Ridge Campus. Today we're here with Mr. DeCrop, who is going to tell us the real story of how he injured his knee. Now, Mr. DeCrop, please tell us the full story, bar no details. Okay, well, it was a dark and grey morning um, in the, west, the western part of Belgium. And for those of you who have been there, you know it can get pretty brutal. And I was doing military service in the army at the time, it was a two-year stint. And as part of our initiation in the army, you had to undergo a number of drills. One of which was, as you see in the movies, you had to crawl on the barbed wire to make sure to avoid the explosions and all that stuff. And at some point, I, I think I stood up because I heard a noise a little bit behind me. And what actually happened is the next thing I knew it was standing up and it was falling down, blood spattering out of my knee and I was I passed out. The next thing I know I was in the hospital uh, with my knee completely blasted. And apparently what had happened was uh, the machine gun that they used for uh, shooting right above the heads of the soldiers as they typically do in an exercise like that. For some reason it must have heated up so much and it went to pieces. So one of the pieces, almost like shrapnel, just flew right through my knee. It was not a bullet, it was a part of the machine. That was the sad part about it. So I've had this since I was 18, 19 years old, so it's been 35 years. And periodically it just acts up. I can foretell the weather by the pain in my knee. I know when it's going to rain, so if you don't want to know Can you please explain what those artifacts well, you have with you? you know, when you have such an incident, you want to keep the, uh, you know, the thing that makes you cripple. So this is the part of the machine gun that I can show you in detail. It's a little rusted, so I hope you forgive me for that. But this is the part that actually flew right through my heart. I kept it as a souvenir to remind me of how the army treated me. That was it. And these are some old glasses that my grandfather gave me when he was in the army. I still use them when I read my books at night. I'm going to put them on just for the sake of it. Very valuable. Very valuable. Thank you, Mr. DeCrop. We appreciate your service.